Sure. My name is Zeke Miller. I'm a White House correspondent for the Associated Press uh, here in Washington. Uh, President Joe Biden is in Warsaw currently after completing a secret trip to Kyiv. Uh, it's one he's wanted to undertake for some months now, but the White House had to work out a whole bunch of security and logistical concerns to get him there, and that primarily re revolved around secrecy, not letting the public know. So AP photographer Evan Vucci uh, was told to look out for an email that had his cover story, essentially, uh, details about a golf tournament that apparently started at 2 in the morning on Sunday. Uh, that's when he had to be at Andrews Air Force Base to join the president. Um, he had to surrender all all of his electronic devices, power off his cameras, um, until they finally got to Kyiv. That's when it was safe for him to be taking photos. And he couldn't begin transmitting anything until they got to the U.S. Embassy um, in Kyiv for a brief hold period while the president met with embassy staff. That was when the president's visit became public, and that uh, was when the White House allowed uh, them to safely report that information. It's not unusual for presidents to visit war zones, uh, certainly when, where Americans are combatants. Uh, we saw Presidents Bush, Obama, Trump visit Iraq and Afghanistan, in some cases multiple times during their presidencies. Those trips were also conducted in, se in secret. But the critical difference between those trips and going to Kyiv is that the U.S. isn't a belligerent in Ukraine. It doesn't control the airspace. It doesn't have a very large troop presence on the ground. So the logistics of pulling something like this off safely were incredibly complex. Uh, part of what allowed the president to do this is the, the notification to Russia so that they wouldn't want to trigger any sort of miscalculation that can start off essentially nuclear war between uh, the U.S. And, and, and Russia, the two nuclear armed powers. But also um, there were U.S. surveillance planes flying along the Polish border outside of Ukrainian airspace, providing that a, le a level of air cover and eyes on what was happening inside Ukraine from outside of Ukraine. President Biden spent about 23 hours on the ground on Ukrainian soil. Uh, that included about five hours in Kyiv and, and his time on the train there and back. Uh, from there, he went to Warsaw to deliver a very large uh, speech. Uh, it's meant to be sort of a tentpole speech uh, about the U.S. and its allies' commitment to bolstering Ukraine's defenses for the long haul. He reflected on his time in Kyiv, his meetings with President Zelensky, and tried to rally the free world, rally the people of Poland um, and the region. Uh, to stand with Ukraine uh, for quite some time. An attack against one is attack against all. It's a sacred oath. 